ways, you know? So, well, um, we could do, if you want to play fair, we could do a few questions. You, you ask a few questions, then I'll ask a few questions. That's fantastic. I Beautiful. love that. Let's do it. Perfect. All right. So let, I had a few notes here cause I don't, I want to make sure it's quality content and right. not to forget anything. So let's start at the beginning because people don't know about you. They don't know about you. You're a very, a very secretive person. And I understand that everybody wants their privacy. I want my privacy on YouTube. So tell us a little bit about you. Like, what did you do before doing FOIA audits and what got you into this? What was I doing before FOIA audits and what got me into this? So as far as like uh, what I was doing before FOIA audits, I was doing music and I still do music, audio engineering. Really? Um, yeah. Um, now, what got me into FOIA auditing is uh, government corruption. Okay. But was there a specific event that happened in your life? That Yeah. A few, a few events. And I was able to um <laughs> correct the government have them reach out to me tell me i was correct they were wrong they fixed themselves up over a phone call they called me back and said it's all cleared up you don't have to worry about a thing so you're all, you're all good let me ask you what happened but before that let me just read uh the super chats and don't get offended you know one thing i wanted to tell you is when you're on the internet you need to have a thick skin like for example yeah. how you told me Oh, I sound like I have come in my well, I'll mouth. play fair. I'll play fair. I'll play fair. Yeah. Like, you know, if I, you, it's just the internet. It, it shouldn't affect you. And I, I kind of feel bad for you because the other day you're like, oh, what if I was a weak person and, and you, I hurt myself or something? I hope you weren't trying to guilt trip us into thinking you're trying to gonna hurt yourself. I what wouldn't want that at all. But, you know, it seems Hello? like it's getting to you. Yeah. Did you hear me? Uh, what are you talking about? No, the other day you're like, oh, all this trolling. It's like it could hurt someone with it with thin skin or something. And you're like, oh, what? Is oh, it? I hear you. Yeah, yeah. That's very true, man. With with the people that are out there, they don't know what someone's going through. And they could be the cause of, of some weakling out there, you know, um, uh, take a razor blade and scratch herself in the arm, you know? Which, which is terrible, but you're not like that, right? So Right. No, no, no. Not me personally, but I'm saying the energy that people are putting out there in the world, you know? Someone, yeah. is, saying, someone is saying, show your face, coward. I don't know if they're talking about me or you. But oh, that, it could be. That's, that's I don't funny. know. That's uh, it's funny. all good. I don't care about if you show your face. So so uh, anyways, uh, let me just read these super chats. So um, from Prairie Writer. Oh, no, we, we uh, read that one. So thank you, Prairie. Uh, Grim Reefer has become a new a YouTube member. Welcome to the Troll family. Thank you very much. And Malo Sal asks, ask audit them, how far you think the guacamole scandal has set back the auditing cause? What do you mean? Mm, the guacamole scandal, I, they might be referring to auditing America and him being a rapist and a kidnapper, but maybe it's not for your for you to say. But uh, yeah, don't don't worry. Uh, yeah, about I don't that. I don't know nothing about that. Um, I don't know nothing about that. But thank you, Milo Sal, for the five bucks. Uh, so anyway, so so yeah, tell us about you. So you say you're a music engineer. So uh, so what else were you doing? So that's how you were earning your money. No, I have multiple gigs. Um, besides that, I uh, you know, I worked at a couple places here and there, clothing store. Um, this and that, man. Uh. A few other things, you know, but that that sums it up. All right. So, okay. And then you got into, so was your main motivation to make money or you were, it was more of a noble, you're saying, so it was more noble what you were trying to do. Cause you started, let's see, when did you start this? You started, no, you didn't start in 2013, right? Oh no, no in, channel, in 2020, right? My channel came out in 2020. Okay. And so what, like, what was the point? So what was the incident? Tell me more about what was the incident that had you start doing the FOIA uh, audits? So one incident, one instance was, like I said, government corruption, where they, uh, I don't want to get too much into it. That's when I write my book, I'm going to release it. But it was the, it was the government basically skipping their uh, processes. They have a processes of things that they have to do before they're able to um, 
to cite you or, 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 or you know, before they're able to, uh, you know, like I said, I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's basically government corruption. I uncovered that corruption. They corrected themselves. They didn't want to take it to court. They called me up, said, yep, it's all clear. Don't worry about it. And um, that really pushed me because that was one instance there that showed me a big flag that there's corruption going on. Um, and uh, But why not get, get into it. the details if you have such this evidence of huge because corruption? Because it's about, it's about my, it, it'll, it'll link back to my, my to how, your identity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and that. Okay. And, and for about your identity, this this brings up to my second point. But right. before we get that, you can ask me a question. I I, I don't mind. Go go ahead if you have any. Yeah, I I, uh, I will ask you a few questions. But the thing is, at this point, you know the doxing shit is real, and um, nobody ever wants to get doxed. People got families, people got children, and it's yeah. not a it's not a good thing, man. I could just say this, like you know, Artem is full of crap. He's a fraud. He's a goat herder. We believe he's from Russia, so. The best racist thing that we could call audit them is a goat herder. Fuck him. Scam him. Uh, tase him. And what's next? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we're not your, I'm not trying to comments. get to look I'm not trying comments. to get to what's your actual name. I don't care about that. Right. The, no, doxing is bullshit. Doxing is yeah. absolute bullshit. I wouldn't want people I don't wish Plus. harm to you whatsoever. But um yeah. Plus, here's another thing. Here's another thing. Um in Illinois, the FOIA Act does not require first name, last name. It does not require first name, last name. So, yeah, so so this brings me to my second point. Yeah, yeah, this brings me to my second point. But let, let me just read this from Paul Berry for 10 bucks. Uh, I'm against a uh, claim to make 30000 in a month from auditing. Do you think he gives auditors a bad reputation? Um, no, I don't think he gives auditors a bad reputation because he makes thirty thousand a month. Yeah, well, it's what he does to make that thirty thousand a month that is pretty disgusting. Uh, just recently, he pepper sprayed uh, an older lady. If you want, I could show you. Uh, we could look at. Oh, it I see that video. You don't have to show me that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really disgusting what he does to earn I, his I money. Mean, listen, this is the thing about it, bro. It should never, ever, ever, ever got to that stage. The lady should have looked at him smiled and kept rolling it would have been a done script that's all yeah Which but he broke. she it, does, she might be going through something she might have lost a loved one she right, might right. be having that, mental that's, issues that's very that's very true but um you never know what what somebody's uh somebody's at there and and that's a good point because you know some african proverb says that the, the stupidest thing you could do is engage someone in road rage because you never know what that person is going through. Like you said, they could lose a son, they could lose a, 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 a sibling, a loved one, and you never know. So never engage them. But the moral yeah. of the story is that should go for both parties. Just walk away, man. It ain't worth it. Yeah, no, well, Amagansa Prince will not walk away because it's not in the best interest of his video. His best interest is to absolutely be the complete worst he can and be the worst asshole possible. But anyways, thank you so much, Paul Berry, for the 10 bucks. Valley of Death for the 5 bucks. Thank you so much for the support. Did he say he's writing a book? Can he write? So you are writing a book? Is that what you said? They're asking if I could write. Well, I can't read English. I can't write English. I'm, I'm right now I'm talking alien. So um, I don't know. I might ask my alien to write the book. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for the... For the donation value of that but yeah it makes like you're talking now about doxing but you were the first person to mention doxing in our in our little universe the first time we actually talked you were saying oh those trolls frauded or troll they're about to get doxed and yes. that was before the the five foot two uh, uh little midget uh, you know what if i if i ask you to point that out to the exact point you would be false you will come back and say sorry that's not the thing that you said i didn't say those words oh um, well, well well hold on because actually uh you know what's fantastic is i made a video about that and i can pull it up right now hold on beautiful pull it up yeah um that's, you just that, said you, I'm, I'm probably I'm, I'm i'm very conscious bro when i speak and i use my words very precise why yeah that? Because this, because this was I actually just, our highlights. The first time we went on Dr. Dave's channel, this is our highlights on the on the video. Let's and watch this it. is where you, the first time that doxing was ever mentioned. 
So let's find it right now. So uh, the video I'm looking for, it's probably going to be a few months ago. And it's going to be called the only person that should, The only person that should be doxxed is the one who's doxing. But not just a regular person that has nothing to do with nothing. If yeah. somebody begins some shit, yeah, you could come into it and finish it. But I, I don't I don't condone uh you know people's families getting in shit and shit like that. All right. Well, we're gonna look at that in just a sec. Let me make sure I'm not I'm gonna right, save cool. the super chats to the side. By the guys. time by the time you, you look that up, I wanna say, yeah, man, audit them as a goat herder. We believe he's either from Russia or Kazakhstan. Let's deport him. He's yeah, so I, rude, I don't, I don't he's give so a shit rude, about He's so rude and condescending. Who the fuck in, in the world goes into an office and asks the lady for her first name? Who does that? <laughs> okay, I, I, let's not get carried away. Hold on. I just want to put the part Basically, where you go with the happening. dog sauce. Hold on. Questions either come on my channel or go on your channel. channel. He's ass bagging. He needs subscribers. We'll talk about everything. Well, yeah. Okay, well, if, if we're going to host... Am I okay now? It's definitely gonna yeah. be on ours, but Dr. Dave was ICBM. nice and yeah, not exactly. invite us. Yeah, but so you know what? I'm, run I'm, away. I'm running I know off we're time. a little late to the I party. Got some, I got something. Hold to on, bro. Could you pause that? Pause that for a minute. Sure. Okay. Um, man, I don't want to hear all that extra stuff. I just want to hear. Oh, I know. Point. I'm trying to get to the point where you threatened the dog thing. It's it's coming. Oh, okay, okay. Well, before oh, you go, you got some very important Hey, I'm I'm gonna mute my mic for a second. Okay, bro. Yeah, mute your mic, sure. I but I want you to hear this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mute. What's that question? One more time. <laughs> you see, God. you see. Hey, listen, if you want to talk to me, talk to me fair. Don't don't talk to me like you're out of the world. Don't be a mystery. Yeah. Like you? I mean, you're a grown man playing He's with the only dogs, mystery bro. allowed. It's a normal He's question. A... Don't He's be a mystery. A... Come, come, at me, come at me. Serious. Hey guys, guys, listen. Um, if you guys want to be trolls to that far extent, try to be, you know, what, what's yeah. your next yes. question? Besides yeah. what about this? Wait, I think I'm wrong. I don't think it was during that time. I think it was before, but well, I could I'm, I'm going to let you know, my man, you are wrong because you just said that you're the next to be docs. I never said that, bro. No, you, you like said, I said that. I will. No, I will no, pick no. it up. This is what happened. Uh, Nicole, you're listening to me downstairs. Try to send me the clip. Uh, but I do remember you made a video on your own channel where you started showing your house and all that. But yeah, yeah, I did. I did. So it's... why don't you go to that clip instead of this clip? Why? What? What's in there? Because that one is more more zoomed in or whatever. They, I'm trying to show you the evidence of you saying you right. Uh, right. Okay, this is what you said. Is... This is what you said. You're like, oh, these trolls. Well, they have. They're gonna have a rude awakening because they're mm -hmm. about to get docs. There's somebody no, out no, no, no. there. There's somebody out. Let, let me finish. There's somebody out there. There's channels that are gonna dox them, and right. then and then and then and then um, Dr. Dave was like, "Oh well, what's your problem with the fraud or the trolls?" So we weren't on your channel. So it was the stream before this. But I'm yeah. gonna find a clip. So I wish I had it ready right now. But I anyways, don't. like I said, man, what I remember I said is that fraud or the troll, their info is already out there. That there's another channel putting you guys out there. That's what I said. I didn't say that. I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I didn't say that. Uh, that. I'll but yeah, but you were aware about about the five foot two uh, thing doxing before the thing happened. So you seem like you were pro doxing. So for uh, for you to come now here and say, oh no, doxing's not good. It's because it's happening to you. But before it happened, to me, <laughs> wait a minute, it's not happening to me. Okay, that's where good. Did I get so that, that's a good segue. So let's move on to the second where point. Did I get doxed? Yeah, isn't so it let's... funny? Isn't it funny? Every single person got doxxed except for Audit Dem. Audit Dem's from Russia, he's from Kazakhstan. Okay, he whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let's, let's, let's not let's not hold on. Hold he's on. 50, let... He's 20, he's 80, he's 90. Okay, yeah. let's not talk about yourself in the third person. I find that really oh, like James, James the Mick, he keeps saying you're a hypocrite. James the Mick was trying to dox me, so then I was uh I was gonna call his police station. I found out he's a cop, so I'm gonna bring him to justice. That's not doxing. Yeah. You're a public official. You're not a private citizen. So I'm I will hold you accountable. Gotcha. But uh, I just have okay. So let's move on to the second point I have, which is um so in clearing your name. So. One of the big things why you, you want to have this debate is you want to clear your name to set in stone that you are not the butt grabber. You right. are not him. 
So let's talk about that. But before that, let me just catch up on the super chats. I think there's a few, not too many. Um, okay, let's see. Well, here, let me say this. If I'm the, if, I'm, if I, I, if I, first and foremost, the butt grabber is born. And if you look at the public record of his, he's in, born in like 94 or he's born in the 90s, 94, 95. I'm born in the 80s, first and foremost. Second and foremost, he's from Florida. I'm from Illinois. Yeah, I travel here and there, but that's the second point. Third point is that, um, you know, uh, well, that, that's just the two points there. He's 90s. I'm in the 80s. That's not. Yeah, but I mean, you're not, you didn't, you didn't say what your real name is. How the hell are we supposed to just take your word for it? Like, you know, anyways, it's, I don't, I don't necessarily think you're the butt grabber. You do look kind of similar to him, but there are some differences. But, but the real question is how the hell did the name Anthony Lopez get on those papers? How yeah, the hell did that happen? Good. But you see, like, here, here's the thing. Um, it's clear in the video because on my channel, it shows how that all started. I walked into the place. I filed a public record request. The fucking clerk was at the, or the FOIA officer was at the counter. And he said, um, he said, include your email. How do you want us to send this over to you? And he was trying to get me out of there. So he had a bad attitude. I said, you know what? I took my pencil. And I scratched off my email. I said, you know what? I'm going to come back in person and pick these records up. So five days or 10 days later, I go to pick up the records. They have it on a DVD disc. And um, I, they have it on a DVD disc ready for me. The records, you have the five records. Uh, and they have. I start looking through it. And they have a name on top that says Anthony Lopez. So at that time, I was like, oh, shit. Uh, you know, uh, uh, how the, first and foremost, I asked the lady, how did they come up with this name? I never said the words, my name, or I didn't feel nervous or something. I said, this is first and foremost, that was a clear in my mind. That was before any troll came to my channel. Let you know, you know, the troll. So how the hell did that name come on there? Right. Like, let me, let me, before I, I don't, I don't want to get too far behind in the super chats. Give me just a second. No, but I got to answer that before you start, uh, uh Okay, all right, finish yeah. your points. All right. So um yeah, so the thing about it is I uh I uh called the uh I called the uh what is it called clerk and I asked him, Hey, how did you come up with that name, Anthony Lopez? Well, you know, I asked him why did you how did you come up with that name Anthony Lopez? And he said, I can't answer that question because it's uh uh, uh a client attorney privilege. So I sent over a FOIA request and they sent me his first response was, um, he said, uh, you know, he, he sent me a redacted page and said, no, we can't, we can't answer that because it's a client, a client privilege, uh, attorney client privilege. And I said to him, no, 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 that's not the way it goes. Redact just the parts that you believe is uh, attorney client and send me the remainder. So now the beautiful thing is, that I have an attorney's name who's conspiring. Him and the attorney are conspiring and put that bogus ass name on there. Why, ask yourself this, man. Why would they put a name on there if I never put a name on there? I didn't well, maybe you, maybe you wrote your email or something, but I'm gonna answer that in just a second. Uh, here, Lux Pro for five bucks, thank you for the support, is saying, what's with all the mis misogyny out of them? What do you mean? Well, you're rude to women. That's what he's saying. So what's with all the misogyny? I, I would need evidence of that. I, I don't think asking an employee for the first name is rude or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Well, it's the way you do it. You, you have a lot of... Yep. Anyway, I've watched your videos. I've edited your videos. It's like when it doesn't go your way, you get you get pretty cranky. But thank you, Lux Pro. Uh, Susan Hobbins for the, for the two bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, just walk away. Yeah, right. Yeah, Thank you. but here, let me just make the record clear, guys. My name is not Kenneth, nor is it Anthony, nor is it Lopez. If you don't want to believe that now, maybe in the next six months when I write my book, you'll see my real identity. But then again, I, I already said this maybe the So do you time. have a publisher for the this book? Is, this is the 10th time I already say that to you guys. Why do you guys insist on believing that when I'm, you know, the, the kid is born in the 90s. That kid was in the 90s. I'm, I'm born in the 80s. We don't oh, know and, you. And and besides that kid, uh, uh, my name is not Anthony or Lopez either. 
But well, we don't know here's that. Here's the cute thing. Here's the cute thing. Okay, since all cute? your since all your people want to believe that my name is Anthony Lopez, what they should do is I said what I do is I send you an uh, an email in advance sometime. You know I know you're gonna stop making videos, but I send you an email in advance, and I'm gonna investigate it, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it of why that town put that name on there. But yeah, I would love to know, but but I'm telling you, yeah. out of them, I'm a, I I love that you're having the debate, but I have a very important question to ask at the end of the debate, and me stopping making videos on you is, is very dependent on your answer, so we'll we'll get to that. But a grim reefer for five bucks, thank you very much for the support. His very weak attempt at deflection and sarcasm are the tools of an unprepared childish. I don't know what individual. I'm deflecting. What am I deflecting at? I I don't what know. It's I up deflect? to it's what up to interpretation. Deflect? It's up to interpretation. <laughs> I mean, you are answering the questions. I do appreciate that. But, you know, there's something uh, like it, it's very sus how that info got on there. Because if nobody was, was it after or before Dr. Dave called you Anthony Lopez? Uh, no, that video came out before he had been uh, premiered. So how the hell is it possible that they called you? At, one theory would be that these employees watch dr dave's video are familiar with who no, you no, are no, no. like i said that video came out before he did any of my work hmm. all right well but then, here, then like that I makes said, it even weirder it makes it even more right, strange but here here's the thing though to me it doesn't matter because i know my life i know who i am it doesn't matter but here's the thing though the thing is that um we should focus on the, trying to find out why that public body which is those are our our government we should find out why they tampered with that for you. You know, if I want to go do a declaration, uh, uh, declaratory relief, and I'm, I'm going to pursue it, man. I'm going to get to the bottom of that portion, but let's move forward. Yeah, yeah. Let me read the super chat so we can move on with the interview slash debate. So, Jamie, and thank you, uh, the previous donor. Uh, Jamie, for the six bucks, thank you so much. Uh, go, why the sniffles? Get half a gram. So he's asking you if you're on drugs. No, I'm not on drugs. I'm sober. Yeah, and uh, thank you so much, Pink Carlo, the driving ape, for the one dollar uh, fifty. Uh, I don't know why it's in red though. Usually those are for safe for huge donos, but thank you very much for the support and thank you for the super sticker. And uh, yeah, Valley of Death for five bucks. Thank you so much for the support. He is not the Florida butt driver, but he's a goat butt driver. It's misspelled on purpose. That, that's lame. That's lame. Carry on. Okay, I'm not going to stick to it. I, I'm going to read it, though. Sure. Okay, so how is everything... Uh, Fergie in for the two bucks. And thank you so much, Valley of Death. How is everything first... Adolescence. How is everything first and, and foremost? Say that again? How is everything first and foremost? What do you mean? Because you know, you're always saying first and foremost. That's what she's referring, uh, referring to. Okay, Mike C for five bucks. Thank you so much for the support. Then why did you accept someone else's paperwork? I asked that last time and you deflected. That's a very good that's question. A good, that's a good question. I accepted it because the description of the records were the records that I filed on paper. But um, the uh, as a matter of fact, we could play the fucking point, the, the two-minute point right now. Maybe in a few minutes we could watch the clip and, and you guys could see. Because yeah. you guys never never seen that clip, but it's on my page. That would but, be interesting. Yeah, but anyway, I accepted it because those are, are the records that I wanted. And I don't give a fuck if they got a fake ad, if they got a name on there. It doesn't make me no difference. But I never knew in a thousand years that somebody, which is the person who done that, was fucking uh, Nick. Nick went ahead and, and tacked on the name Kenneth and tried to associate me with their fucking uh, criminal in... Uh, um uh in florida nick is the one who went and did that dumb shit but anyway you know like <laughs> i said like i said um you know god 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 um god knows man and i'm i don't got nothing to prove about that bro I but that's that. the thing is when you're getting so defensive it, it's like no i'm not defensive i i could care less i mean you guys could believe what you want whatever yeah that's good well yeah, that's why you see. should if, if that's what I'm saying. Trolls. When people troll you, you cannot show that it's that it's bothering you. That's yeah. my advice. Well, like I said, like I said, he's a goat herder. The best thing we could do is be racist towards him. Fuck him. He's a goat herder. I don't he's promote from, any he's racism. From, he's from I don't Kazakhstan. think the goat joke. Call, I don't call think him a, Kim, 
calling him a goat herder is like calling a, a white guy the c word or or uh, or a black guy the n word. So let's let because he's from Kazakhstan. Let's call him a goat herder. So let's just continue on doing that. Yeah. Anyways, I I personally I'm not I I got sent so many goat memes. I'm not going. I don't. It was funny at first a little bit. It was quite funny actually, but I didn't go. You know, uh, call you a goat herder. I want right. to come up with my own jokes, but you know, yeah. you do a lot of other funny stuff. But like I said, I, my man, listen. This is the thing though. Um, it says in the Bible, it says man does not know what he does. So the thing that I'm I'm telling everybody out there is that they don't realize what they're talking about right now. And in a later time, they would see that um, they they made some mistakes. I mean, that's all I could say, you know. I mean, um, we'll see when you come up with that means, book. Like, like right. for example, do you have a publisher for that book? Um, not at this second. The book doesn't have nothing to do with trolls. It doesn't have nothing to do with none of that. It has everything to do with my channel and why I do what I do and what got me started. And it, sh- it might be so close to have my damn social security in- number in there. Well, that, w- that would be a bad idea. But anyways, I'm going to carry know. on with, with uh, the... The super chat thank you so much mike c uh prairie rider for the seven bucks did you uh, thank you for the support did you steal someone else's mail with anthony lopez on it for taxes that's not mail that's a foyer request so no okay all right well thanks for answering that dimension lord for five bucks you say you're all oh, the there goes just real quick bro there goes llama uh surya das I checked out your uh, meditation, man. That's real cool. You should stick with that. I like meditation. That's good. It's easier. Yeah. It's easier for people to hate. It truly is, man. But love is really the answer. Whether these people want to hate right now, play this cute footsie footsie. Really, love would run, love would be the result, and these people would be flipped in another year from now. But go ahead. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we're we're waiting on the edge of our seat for your book to come out. Trust me. So uh, yeah. So. You say you're all about the First Amendment, but yet you put cameras and in people's faces, you're not about the First Amendment. I disagree with that. Well, because, you know, some, uh, not to give Chile any credit, but I guess because he's so obsessed with himself that he actually puts the camera away from the public servant. You can still hear what they're saying, but at least you're not sticking a camera on their face. Yeah, I, I don't like to use that word either. Sticking a camera in somebody's face means you're you're sticking your COVID mask on your face. You're sticking lipstick on your face. You're put, you know, you got your wife's titties in your face, for example. But it, it's not like you know. You mean you're, the word is pointing a camera at someone's direction, not sticking a camera in someone's face. Well, it depends. I'll give you credit. You don't necessarily stick it in their face, but the video we just saw of Amagan Suppress is literally him sticking it in their face. So maybe it doesn't apply. You see, like, look, let me me make a point here, bro. There's people saying, still talking about butt grabber and this and that. So do these people, they like uh, lying to themselves, bro? But you can't answer them. They're, they're, They're just adolescents, whatever. Let's move on. All right. So Jamie for two bucks says, when you're Kim Tactic, do you dress like a girl? So he's uh, accusing you of being Kim Tactic. Are you Kim Tactic? Do you want to answer that now and put that to rest? No, I am not. Kim Ta- Kim Tactic is a, uh, from what I've seen, she's a uh, exposer of you-know-who. Right. Well, um, Kim Tactic is spreading a lot of false information, very damaging information, and... Uh, Kim Tactic is a piece of shit. I can guarantee you that. So um, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, Cyber Bri for ten bucks. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Love your panel. Other than the douchebag you're talking to, thank you. All right, thank you. And uh, Pinkalo, the driving ape. Thank you for becoming a new YouTube member and welcome to the troll family. So goat means greatest of all time. It that's does. Great. That's it so does. cute. That's so cute that. It may turn from racism, which people want to share racism, to actual to a like, compliment. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. If 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 you know, take it as a compliment. If you know, you can't pay attention to the, you, you have to pay attention to the trolls, meaning us. But don't pay attention if people are trying to troll you. Like for example, us, we we bust. Uh, I'm against it. Press's chops. We bust PayPal Tommy's chops. 
And by doing their false copyright strikes, they show that it's hurting them and that their feelings are hurt. So we go 10 times harder. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Even like for Dr. Dave, if you ignored him, I think he would have made a couple videos on you and then be done with it. Oh, yeah. But like I said about him, I did ignore him a whole long time ago. He just can't give it up. Um, But yeah, I'm, I'm through with that, man. I don't want to participate. You know, that's all. Yeah. All right. So T-Bone, what's up, T-Bone? Thank you for the 10 bucks. Really appreciate it. Ask him, name two things you needed to construct a proper sentence. He's really going to write a book. He had better get help and a good publicist. <laughs> so yeah, name two things that you need to construct a proper sentence. Um, two things you need to construct a proper sentence. Shit. Um, what do you mean? Well, two two things you need to construct a proper sentence. I'm not. I I have a answer myself. I don't know if it's the right answer, but it's a answer. But you can give an answer. Like, what types of words do you need to construct a proper sentence? Hold on. Your, your mic broke up. Say that one more time. My mic broke up? Okay. Well, it's it's written right here. Ask him two things you need to construct a proper sentence. I, I don't know the answer to that one. Okay. Well, J-Car had a good answer. Noun, verb, subject, lol. I was going to say uh, noun and punctuation, punctuation. So I, I wasn't going to get the good answer, but at least I understood the question. But uh, yeah, that's what that's he good. means. So, cause you're, you're, oh, somebody you're, said a brain. That's good. But yeah, you see brain the, thing too, about yeah. it, the thing about it, like I said in the past, when I do plan on writing out my book, I'd like to have grammar links so it could all be uh, <laughs> it could all be perfect. Now, yeah, you're going to need to have someone like, like get your ideas and like write it properly. Right. right you sure. know, when it comes time to a book to publish on Amazon and publish to the world, of course it's gonna be perfect. But when you're texting here and there, who gives a fuck, man? People really spend time and put commas and punctuation shit, think they're so fucking um uh you know, smart, and then they turn around after they took ten minutes to write that up, they get blocked. So you know what's no funny? Sense. I actually got a, a, a an email the other day. And it had timestamps of every single word I said in a video with the wrong pronunciation. So I was like, somebody actually took the time to write me a, a like 10 paragraphs email talking shit about my pronunciation. <laughs> I found that hilarious. Right. But uh, anyways, Grim Reef for, for five bucks. Thank you for the support. His use of the English English language is an offense to my intellectual personhood and ears. Quoting the Bible... Is a bailout move. I understand what? what what they mean by that. Thank you, Grim Reefer. Well, you know what? That is an opinion. What more can I say? All right, we're almost done with the super chats, and then we're gonna uh, keep going. Uh, Lux Pro for ten bucks. Ask this little boy to define deflection. His voice is quivering. I bet he has to leave soon. And I hope you don't have to leave soon. Be because because I have quite a little more. Let me ask you a question here. Sure. How, you asked me about ten plus questions. Did I did I miss one? No. Beautiful. Let's continue. All right. So, uh, uh, yeah, thank you, Valley of Death, for the $5 super sticker. Really appreciate that. And uh, what's up, Big Jake, the King Freak? Thank you for the two bucks. Your your dumb answers are giving me a migraine. Yeah. Just go. Who said that? Who said that? Jake. Which Jake? The Jake. The Jake you know. I, I don't know. Which, which Jake are you referencing? He's on Dr. Dave's uh, live streams and... Oh, he, he said what he said your dumb answers are giving him a migraine oh that's nice let's yeah. carry on yeah one more bernie chuffaletti chuffaletti sorry if i'm mispronouncing this uh, like it's name. it's you see you see what's going on here man it's like <laughs> adoles- like that guy came and said the word adolescence you know the definition of that right yeah it's grown, a teenager it's grown- no, no, no. Um, it's something about grown folks that that still got the mentality of a teenager. So you remember that time where you put out you put out a good idea though. You put out where you wanted to start a channel and get FOIA requests of body cams, and you right. had about thirty people. Not even one person from the thirty people tried to help you out. They also, <laughs> you know what? I got I got four real applications by email, and we already went through the process, but. 
I don't know if we're going to be doing that YouTube channel. But we got, yeah, we got 30 dumb questions, 30 dumb answers. But we got uh, four, here's, here's what four I or five do, real applications. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do um, for just for the universe out there for a minute here, bro. Um, let, let's just say me and you with 10,000 plus subscribers, bro. Let's do this. Let's start off by doing this for the people. At the count of three, I'm going to count three, two, one. At the count of three, let's inhale for five seconds and then exhale for five seconds. Are you going to do that? Let's do it. Three. I'm not really. To be honest, I've tried meditating and it just gives me more no, anxiety. It's not I'm meditation. not, really, Wait a I'm not really interested in that, but you can Bro. do it. And you okay, can do it with the that? subs. I don't mind. So now here's the second part I'd like to say. The second part I'd like to say is that, um, well, I'll do it here. No, nah, never mind. You don't want to do it, so forget it. I'll do it later. But here's the thing. Um, so since everybody 100 out of 100 is saying negative things, really that's having a, a, a defect on them own people. And it's making me happy because I say, you folks are saying that about yourself and I'm not like you. But the thing is right now, I would ask all these people in your comment section um, to try to say um, some positive things right now for the world and the universe. And don't be sarcastic about saying the positive things, but try to say some positive things. Let's switch it up a little bit here. Go ahead. Uh, carry on. Yeah. I mean, we talk, uh, me personally, I can speak for me and my wife. We're very positive people. I mean, we donate uh, to the school. We donate to charities. I, I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that, bro. I want you. I want you to. I, we never seen no proof of you donating any of that. I want you to donate a because because I don't need to show it because Watch that's this. not what people no, that's, do. No, that's facts. That's facts. They don't. don't they don't donate don't. Yeah, right. to a no, charity no. and then you're rub right. it in people's face because that no, doesn't no, no. make you're, sense. No, no, You're right. You're right about that. But but for this specific case here, yeah, I will agree with you on that. But yeah. for this specific case over here. From today, you made, let's say, you uh, by the end of the stream, you'll make 300 Donate $100 to any poor, uh, choice of your poor, bro. And uh, Choice of my poor. Well, I'll tell you what. We already do that with our own money right, for, bro, from bro, our bro, job. Bro. But I will tell you something because I already had a plan. Uh, last stream, we actually donated, what was it, five T-shirts? No, no. Was five ghost, hold ghost, on, hold girl. on. Ghost girl, I'm not saying about me, saying about positive about me. I'm just saying for you folks to say something positive in general, whether it's about me, whether it's about you guys' life, whatever it is. But let's yeah. carry on. Yeah, well, for, for example, like um, last stream, not last stream, but a few streams ago, we donated five T-shirts uh, to our subscribers and five stickers. So we mailed them and uh, yeah, all the T-shirts went out. The stickers are going to go out either uh this week or early next week and yeah we gave back to our community it came out yeah. of our pocket so that was not a cheap like donation let me ask was... you this bro um yeah and we will control. do donate one t-shirt today and you will be the one that chooses who it goes to as long as it's a regular subscriber no, bro, i don't want to participate in no this you one. have to come on it's gonna but, be fun um, you're gonna uh, okay, you're gonna yeah, choose yeah, who I wins guess, i guess we could do that so you're saying that i could choose one of your people to send them a shirt yeah, a shirt. Yeah. Okay. I want to send it to. Uh, no, no, it doesn't work like that. Hold on. Because they have to be either in Canada or the States and they have to want it. So there's a process, but we'll do that a little bit later. Okay. That's yeah. fine. But let yeah. me say this part here. Um, sure. The girl, now think about this right here. The girl, her username in there is Ghost Girl. Yeah. Um, she's, she's an IRS agent. How do you feel? Think about this. How do you feel that she said some horrible, horrible things about me? Accusations for the past four months, bro. She's she okay. Let me let no me tell you. Wait, this. wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Okay. Let me finish. All right. She came out of nowhere, out of my life, bro. And four months ago, and said some horrible accusation. Now watch this. I find out that she works for the IRS. Is it fair for me to public record request her and probably call up her work and say? Yes, this this young lady is har harassing. She's saying some very, uh, 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 you know, uh, accusing me of doing these things and saying these bad things. That what do you think about that? If I reached out to her job because she's a government official, not just a regular person. It's fair game. It, you can. Okay, if she, beautiful, beautiful. She, if she like showed her identity, right? And, but if you got it through illicit means, like how do you even know? Because Ghost Girl is just Ghost Girl. How, how are you right. able to find right. out 
who she is did you use illicit ways to dox her to find her info right but it all it's all it's all case by case like you know a government official um is not supposed to be doing things like that and a government official is subject to foia but what i'm saying here is the people i'm just saying man please just be careful what you guys are saying because anybody could be identified and anybody can be uh, 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 held responsible in the court of law. They could be served with a... There, uh, there's one thing I do want to say about Ghost Girl, if she's an IRS agent, is that she does audits and she produces findings. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Well, you don't know that. You don't know that. Well, yeah. IRS uh, agents do audits of financial documents and they produce findings I, I also produce i also find findings but carry perfect on. because that was gonna be my my ultimate mega question that we will answer in just a little bit that we'll get to in just a little bit uh let me just read this um from bernie uh talk about constructing proper sentences eli's the king my peeps hell yeah thank you so much and uh mr dart for five bucks thank you very much for the support oh this guy this guy uh real rel is saying you so-called First Amendment, but trying to sue for it. No, it's not trying to sue for First Amendment. When somebody threatens and so somebody says something beyond just a few words, it's it's beyond. Now it's becoming cyber stalking and against you as code. It's not just what you guys think, man. It's beyond that. But let's carry on. Yeah. So uh, he said a free clipboard with every book purchased. Like that I said, be, what if, what if be, I was what if I was a weakling, bro? And all these people right right now, not not me, but somebody else was a weakling, and you guys were doing all this. Well, and, they would get off the internet. They they would stop right. making that's videos what I'm where you they're getting. You, you guys they, if you were a weakling, people. you wouldn't go put that's yourself. What, that's you what wouldn't this, you wouldn't go do audits and go and say, hey, ma'am, I need a FOIA for this. I need a FOIA no, for I'm that. No, I'm not saying me in general. I'm saying anybody yeah, in general. Not, that's what so. this channel is going to be responsible for. No, if not no, maybe no. in this maybe not in this lifetime but still you know let's let's go ahead and carry on they never yeah, said no. anything positive nobody ever said anything positive yeah well i mean there's there's a lot of things positive to say that or i for for one got really good news a few days ago i can't share it yet but i will share it down the road really really oh, good did i news. say she's fbi i meant i meant she's irs not fbi yeah irs yeah so uh lux pro says uh for two bucks has he ever tried just rubbing one out instead yeah i'm gonna leave that at that uh thank you for the support though charlene uh charlene revel for five bucks why should officers and government officials obey you a random person when they have their training on how they're expected to operate good question say that one more time well it's written right here oh let me look um no i don't see it oh it's it's on the screen oh, oh okay i'm looking at my phone okay um from uh charlene yes why should officers and government officials obey you a random person wait wait can you do it in the voice restart it do the voice what oh, voice the voice you know what voice i'm talking about do the voice <laughs> nah man hold on um i'm gonna answer that bro uh let me see Shit, man, the, the little I got a little kitten right here running around and jumping all over the headphone headphone wire. This little kitten got more sense than some of the people in the chat. Um, but yeah, do, do the puppet voice. The little I, uh, the puppet voice. Yeah. Okay. Um. But no, man. Uh, yeah, I'll answer that question. Why should um officers and government officials obey you? No, I don't think that they should obey me. I think that they should, or me or any other member of the public, I think that they should obey their job description that says they should remain professional um, and uh, handle a variety of circumstances in a uh, professional manner. Um, and then they say further, say a random person. And okay, so what if it's a random person? If anybody could be a random person um as long as they're there for a specific reason which i am for public records so then he he further says or she further says when they have their training on how they're expected to operate 
Well, that's an oxymoron, of course. They have they have their uh, training, so why don't they uh, act accordingly? They should act accordingly. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pause the super chat for now, just so we can move on to the next topic. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna save all your super chats, guys. So um, if you have more, I will ask audit them after the after we're done the next topic. So the next topic I want to ask you. I feel like we didn't kind of get resolution on the Anthony Lopez uh, situation because, uh, like, there's no proof that you're trying to say it's not you. It's not you. I was born in the '80s, but how like do I we said, know? Bro, we don't bro, know bro. you. I, bro, we don't know. I, I, I care less. I don't give a fuck with. Okay, with that's someone that, that's the right attitude. Not giving a shit. 